Hi, my name is Blake Jeffrey. I'm number 51 for Hamilton Bulldog. My dad, my grandfather, and my great grandfather all played hockey in the NHL. And uh, I was born in Plantation, Florida. We moved to Nashville. My dad uh, got all of us out there one day. We started skating around the ice. Uh, one, we had one rink in Nashville at the time, and got out there, put the gear on, and started skating around. And uh, the rest of this year, I fell in love with the game. But Jeff, you know, you know, in the, in the Montreal organization is a big name, you know, his dad played, his uh, father played, you know, like, so there's a lot of things, you know, and Blake now is part of the Montreal organization, so it's why three names, you know, like from generation to another generation, so it's why we have to acknowledge that. I think the first challenge I ever got in my entire life was uh, I moved away from home when I was 14 years old. I went to, I went to a military school, so I was away from home, uh, you know, doing, you know, personal PT, we call it, personal training every morning in military school and learning. You know, a lot of different things, and uh, at a young, young age, I had to grow up fast. Blake, first of all, you know, like at the rock and roll season, okay, the fact is, you know, he started up uh, in Milwaukee, and after that went up, played a few games in Nashville, uh, got traded up, started up, he came up with us, you know, and after that went up to Montreal Canadiens, finishing the season with, with us in Hamilton. But overall, you know, he's a very good hockey player, he's got a, good, he's got a lot of talent, good hockey sense, you know. And the only thing, like I said, you know, like it uh, doesn't matter where he's going to be playing with, uh, with us or next year on a Montreal Canadian, but playing for one team. I think there's, there's three things. Uh, number one, uh, it's a fast physical game. It's, uh, you know, you play almost every night. Uh, uh, it's, it's great. Uh, you know, you get, to, you get to know a lot of different people. You get to meet a lot of people and, and teammates as well through, through everything. And then uh, number three is just, uh, you know, it's kind of hand to hand, but you, you almost have a brother. You, you find a lot of close friends and brothers almost uh, through all the guys you play with. I mean, 82 games a year and you're around each other all, every day pretty much. So uh, you get a lot of close friendships and, and, and those, uh, those mean a lot to me and, and uh, have helped me through a lot of things. Every hockey guy has kind of gone through the same thing, moving from home at a young age and trying to make, uh, make the National Hockey League. So uh, everyone can relate to everyone and so everyone helps each other out. It's having fun, it's working hard. You know, there, there's a lot of guys uh, actually in, in the National Hockey League and American League that, are, that have a lot of faith and believe in the Lord and, and take uh, you know, a big, a big you know, it's a big part of their lives, and uh, you know, it's just not flaunted as much in, in, in hockey, just because that's not our culture, really. And and uh, but there's a lot of great guys in the room. I mean, uh, and, and there's a lot of guys that believe, and, and uh, you know, it plays a huge role in my life. I mean, uh, if it wasn't for the Lord, I, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't be here where I was. Uh, I wouldn't be blessed with a lot of things that I've been blessed with. And uh, first and foremost, I've been blessed with a great family, and uh, who've taught me a lot between my mom and my dad. And and uh, you know, just little stories throughout my life that I can relate back. And when I, when I take a step back and look at my life after a year, I can just see God working in mysterious ways in my life for sure. So uh, it's um, uh, it's it's awesome. I, uh, you know, I definitely believe in the Lord for sure. You know, what the hardest thing is, is is staying strong with my faith throughout the whole whole course. I think everyone has ups and downs. You know, they kind of come in and out of their faith. And and I really think in the last three four years, I've really stayed strong and stayed stayed a course on that. And I, I think that that's. Uh, you know, I, I think that's the, big, the best thing. I mean, even though it might not be going great on hockey or on the ice or whatever, I'm, I'm always happy off the ice and I always have a good peace of mind. Obviously, uh, you know, reading the Word and, and, and going to Bible studies that we have around here at Hamilton and the National Hockey League, and uh, we have a lot of Bible studies. We have this thing called Hockey Ministries that we all keep up with and take part in. I think that's a, that's a huge, uh, huge thing because it's hard to go to church and, and, and like I said, to stay with the Word, uh, can, you know, with the schedules that we have. So to have a guy in come in every once in a while and, and speak to us and just give us good reminders of uh, verse here or there, it's, it's always good. Your Hamilton Bulldogs! We have faith night here at the uh, Bulldog game. There's a Bulldogs game against the Grand Rapids Griffins. Tonight we had these tickets before, so it was uh, for the Bulldog game tonight. We just happened to be here at the uh, perfect night. You know, obviously faith and family, they come hand in hand. Uh, you know, I think uh, the world's a better place when we treat everyone like our own family, and and uh, you know, that's great for the blogs to host that and, and to bring some awareness. Uh, um, as much awareness as possible is, is always a good thing. Uh, we're bringing those two things together. I get to spend time with my family and friends. Well, he actually brought me tonight, so it's awesome. It's good. I got the tickets as an award from a large after school program because uh, apparently they like me. Right in the third row, right behind the penalty box. Really, my friend just asked me to come out, so any hockey I can see, I'll come. Well, I just wanted to see a hockey game because I see lots on TV, but I don't usually get to see any live. We have, we have fun with it, don't we, Zach? Yes. <laughs>
Yeah. Um, well, tonight Cardinal Heights is here doing a 50-50 to help support their school. Um, we have their commitments, which is their choir and their band and all that. They're here performing during the halftime. I think it's really important, especially when kids are involved. They're so looked upon and, you know, especially the troubled ones, ones that need all the help they can get. So many people just kind of push them aside. And you know what? They need role models. They need people to help support them. They need people to kind of give them that guidance. And especially in our schools, there's so many funding cuts and everything already that they definitely need the help for every dime they can get. Well, you see even the players. I mean, they've had, at the end of the game, they have a, they all gather around, have a prayer and all that. You know, it's... Uh... Oh, Bulldogs just scored! Yay! <laughs> That's a good thing. No, but, you know, I mean, uh, it, it gives you a basis, a good uh, a concrete basis for them and everybody around to have good faith. Definitely. Um, a few of my friends who do play for sports teams and stuff, they are heavily into religion, and you know what they say, I always have someone to fall back on. He's like, I may not have proper people in my life, good people in my life, but at least I can turn to my faith. So definitely think it is. Definitely think it is. Well, I think that's great. I think Hamilton's a great community for faith and uh, supportive, and I think it's great with the Bulldogs. I believe everything happens for a reason, and our path may be laid out for us, but, you know, we can tweak it a little bit here and there to change it. And, you know, it's always good to help people out. You know, being in the military, away from the family a lot, and that uh, you do, uh, you do, uh, you know, uh, rest on your faith, and it helps you get through things. Yeah, because if if uh, we have faith, we might win. Success, you know, is he's uh, got a good shot, good hockey sense, you know, like he, he can create plays. He's got some good hands, you know, like there's no question, you know, that kid's got a lot of potential, and uh, you know, like he's. Uh, you know, I hope he's going to realize his dream playing in the National Hockey League, you know. So he needs a very good uh, off-ice training, okay, for this summer. And back in, in good health, you know, because he had few concussions in his career. So the thing is, I wish him good health, you know, being healthy as long as he could. And, uh, you know, like, first of all, when we're going to come back next year, he's going to go with the Montreal, everybody will go with the Montreal Canadiens. And from there, we'll make a decision. But he's got a good potential. Uh, stay strong, uh, have fun is, is, is the number one thing. Work as hard as you possibly can and, and lean on the big guy up top and he'll take care of you.